Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Tech Tutorial Tuesday. Today, we'll be jumping back into Outlook and taking a look at creating contact groups. So here's a screen that everyone's familiar with at this point. It's your Outlook interface. Um, but today we're going to do something different and instead of hitting the mail or calendar tabs like we usually do, we're going to go ahead and hit the people tab at the bottom here and see what's available to us there. So for those of you that have never been to this section of Outlook, there's a ton you can do here. You can add contacts, you can load business cards, phone numbers, create lists, um, a lot of things. If you have any specific questions, please reach out and I'll do my best to help answer them. Um, but for today, what we're going to look at is creating a new contact group. So in the top left here, we have new contact group. I'm going to go ahead and select that. And that opens up the create contact group interface here. And where this is really useful is when you have a ton of emails um, with specific groups like project teams, for example. Maybe some people are within the organization. Maybe some people are external. Creating a contact group is going to save you a ton of time from constantly having to type in all of those names. Um, in your emails. So for my example here, I'm going to pretend that I'm working on a project. I have internal and external stakeholders, and I want to get them all on one list that'll help me um, expedite the process of emailing those folks. So the first thing I need to do is create a name for my group. I'm just going to go ahead and call this project team. And once I have that, the next thing to do is to add members to the group. So I'm going to go ahead and select add members. And from here, we have a few options. We can either add folks from our um, Outlook contacts, we can add them from our address book if they're already in there, or we could just um, add new email contacts. So for this example, I'm going to do a mix of um, my Outlook contacts and new email contacts. So we'll start with the Outlook contacts and select that. And then if I hit global address list, it'll show me everyone um, at UGOC. So for this particular project, let's pretend that Matt is part of the project team and let's pretend that Tracy is part of the project team. So I'll add them there and now they show up in my group. But as I mentioned, um, I also have external folks on this, on this project. So I'm going to go ahead and add them as well. And to do that, I'll do add members, email contacts. And then I get a pop-up that looks like this and I can go ahead and start adding those folks one at a time here. So for the display name here, let's just go Zoom contact and I'll do um, Zoom exec at zoom.com. And if I want, I can auto add them to my contact. So I'll leave that enabled to show you what that does. And once I have that, I can just go ahead and click OK. And now the Zoom contact is on here as well. I'll do that one more time. Add member from email contact. And this will be an entrada. Uh, contact and I'll just do and again I'll add them to my contacts and hit OK. So this is my list here. Once I have everyone that I need in my list um, populated, all I have to do is click Save and Close. And now when I open up my um, contact list here, you see that my Zoom contact was auto added, my Entrada exec contact was auto added, and then I also have my project team here. So if I click the project team, I see all of those folks. If I hit my Zoom contact and my Entrada exec contact, um, since all I added was their email address, that's all I'll see. But where does this become useful? So if I go back to my emails, um, you could pretend I'm going through my day and now I need to contact this project team. So by creating a new email, of course, everyone knows this screen here. Now I can just start typing project team and all of those folks are there. So where I would have had to type Matt, Tracy, my Zoom contact, and my Entrada contact, now all I have to do is type project team. And of course, if I need to expand and see all those people, I can just go ahead and um, select the plus sign. If I need to remove someone from a particular email, I could do that. Um, and then I just go ahead and start typing my email. Um, so that's creating contact groups, a very brief overview. But um, as you create groups, you'll find that the amount of time you spend actually populating these two fields in Outlook will decrease significantly. And that wraps up this week's video. 
I hope you guys find out what contact list to be a time saver moving forward, and I'll see you all next week with another episode of Tech Tutorial Tuesday.